today we are diving deep into the blender versus maya debate for game development and trust me you do not want to miss this let's discuss maya first the reason triple a studios choose maya firstly it has really good industry pipeline integration it works seamlessly with unreal engine and proprietary engines. Secondly, it has powerful animation and rigging tools. Triple A games like Cyberpunk 2027, GTA 5, and The Last of Us all use Maya for animation. Next up, deep customization. Studios create specialized tools with Mel and Python scripting. Lastly, Autodesk support. AAA studios get direct help from Autodesk for pipeline optimization. Downsides of Maya, it's really expensive. A Maya license costs $2,000 per year plus, making it tough for indie developers. Next up, it has a really steep learning curve. It's not the easiest software for beginners. Lastly, and this is a big one, it is really heavy on hardware and you need a really powerful PC for smooth performance with Maya. All right, now let's talk about the challenger to Maya, which is Blender. Blender is free. It's open source software that is completely shaking up the game development industry. Let's talk about the benefits of Blender. A, it's completely free. There's no subscription, no hidden costs. It's perfect for solo devs and small studios. It has fast updates and add-ons, features like geometry nodes, hard ops, and retop flow, speed up asset creation. It is easier to learn and more flexible. A very uh, user-friendly UI with better default tool for modeling. It is great for stylized and procedural art because many, many indies games strive with Blender's procedural modeling tools. Lastly, it has seamless export to game engines. It works really well with Unreal Engine, Unity, and Godot. All right, now let's talk about the downsides of Blender, which are it is not the AAA standard yet. Most big studios still use Maya. So if you learn Blender, you are not going to have a smooth integration to a triple studio because they're most probably using Maya at this point. Next, it has animation and rigging limitations. Blender is improving, but Maya is still the preferred choice for complex character animations. Lastly, community-driven development. There is no direct studio support like Autodesk. It actually relies for support on the open source community. 